I was married to one of the greatest men in America. He invented the Model T. He invented the steam engine. I'm so proud of my husband for all that he's done. Did you know that at age 15, he constructed the first steam engine? And he went to school for only three years. Three years of formal education. But he wasn't always a success. He had many failures along the way. He even had things that he was not proud of. For example, one of the worst times in American history was the Great Depression. And Henry Ford had to lay off a lot of people, thousands of them. And he even had to have bad working conditions. And then the workers started to stand up to him and they said, this isn't fair, Henry. We're working in these awful conditions, please help us. And for a long time he didn't. But in the end, he and the unions came to a resolution, and Henry was able to say that he was sorry and give better working conditions to his workers. Don't be afraid if you've had failures. Henry Ford has had many failures, and he said that success is fueled by failure. He had two companies that failed. They went bankrupt before the Henry Ford Motor Company found its success. He had to continue to problem solve and to find ways to make his business work. Are we still on? In about 1914, Henry Ford came up with the idea of the assembly line. And what he found out about the assembly line is that it would improve production rates by 40 to 60 percent. And this led to part of the success. In 1905, there were over 50 companies competing with Henry Ford, but he stuck with it. Success, Henry said, is doing what you feel is right in your gut, despite public opinion. was not afraid to ask for help because in order to get success you need help from other people. In 1903, my husband found 12 people willing to invest $28,000. Ford was able to begin production of the Model A car. The car sold and by 1907 the profits were at $1.1 million. In 1909, Ford made the decision to manufacture only Model Ts. Mary Ford here again. This entire interview has been conducted on the Model T. Behind us, zooming past, is the wonderful landscape of America. America's Midwest in the greatest car of all time, the Ford Model T.